Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I would like to introduce you to my wonderful guest, Wendy Fry. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live or at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, angel cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny and a journey through the lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Wendy Fry, who will be sharing about how discovering your, your author voice and the book that's within you waiting to be written. Now, Wendy Fry is a writing coach, an author, a ghostwriter and therapist who will empower you to set and achieve your aspiring author goals offering transformational, simple and practical strategies, you'll discover your innate confidence and creativity to attract the success that you deserve. With over 20 years in writing and the wellbeing industry, Wendy has experience helping people like you to dissolve limiting beliefs, overcome past hurts and release future fears. She loves nothing better than seeing fellow writers and authors succeed. Wendy is the author of Find You, Find Love, which was featured in the Daily Express as one of the top seven books to read whilst laying on the sunbed. And Mothers and Daughters, which was shared um, in brief on ITV's This Morning Show. And Wendy's next book, Right From Your Heart, um, was recently released. So without further delay, hello, Wendy, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? I'm really well. I'm super excited to be here. Thank you, Ray. Privileged to come on. Ah, oh, you're welcome. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can ask questions and leave comments and thoughts as both Wendy and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. So Wendy, why don't you tell us about yourself and how to discover your our author voice and the book that was in the book that is within us waiting to be written? Fabulous. Thank you. So I'll just begin by saying everyone on the call or listening at a later date, you, you already are an author. You know, author can go by various different um, analogies of published author, self-published author, but actually we, we are all authors in our own right and we all have a story to tell or experience to share that's valuable. So um, the intention of the, the show tonight is to talk a little bit about my backstory, how I became to be in, an author, if we class it as a status, but actually more importantly around how we can each use our life journey and life experience to connect with, with the people that we're, we're trying to reach. Um, my background, um, as Ray has kindly shared, is uh, a therapist for over 20 years and I mean, crikey, you know, to hear 20 years, I'm like, where, where is that time gone? It's certainly flown by. And again, it's to sort of um, share with you that we, we may have different titles that people who are listening in, you may have different job roles or di different titles. And some of your experience, whether you're a, a therapist or, or a coach or your holistic healing or whatever your, your role and title might be, certainly that that's one area that you can share your expertise. But more importantly is, you know, what makes you you? So we, we are all unique individuals in our own right with our own unique experiences. And with the with the emphasis on being discovering your author voice within, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of books and a lot of training courses, or even what I'm saying, there's various different sources of information where you can where you can glean information, where you can learn how to do things. But I always say is keep your voice intact. So whatever 
training courses you've been on, whatever you've learned, whatever your experience is, the, the key part, certainly the people that I, I coach um, in my writing coaching programs, is how can we best share your voice and your experience? And how does your experience make what you have to share important and life-changing or tra- to offer transformation for your readers? So um, I'm 50, going to be 54 this year. So although part of my experience has been in, in the well-being industry for quite some time in various different roles is to actually share with you and get you or, or on the call tonight, I'm going to be asking some open questions so that you can write notes or if you're just purely listening along to actually go within to be able to have those downloads coming through where you where you have in an instant an idea or a series of ideas that you can uh, put into place in in your book or your blog or your articles or your training courses so when I use the word author that could be anything it could be as I say write, writing your book whether that's in self-help writing a memoir writing a guide writing a training manual there's so much you can do with your words so um, you know, welcome everybody and, th- and thank you, Ray. So really just to emphasize the point, you already are an author. You've got this far, you know, you've lived to tell the tale of your life so far. Whatever age you are is the perfect age to start. It's never too late to start to share the, the voice and the words from your heart. So I'm going to go through uh, a series of, of questions um, and pose those to you. So if you do have pen and paper, it's great. Um, I believe the call is going to be available on a replay. So yeah. I often talk. Yeah, often, that's great. Ray. I often talk quite quickly and um, share a lot of information. So please do uh, save save the video and listen to it at a later date. And I do encourage you to to write no, notes which you can go back to and perhaps use when you're creating your, your book or your blog or your guide, whatever it is you might decide to begin to write or if you've already started to go back and complete that piece. So the first five questions I'm going to go through here are taken from something that I call um, define your ideal reader blueprint. So the blueprint um, in and of itself is 50 questions long. We don't have the time on this call to go through all of the questions. So I'm just going to share um, freely here the first five. And actually, uh, hi, Asita, i just seen that message um, come up here. Welcome. And, and everybody that, that's here already, thank you for joining us. So I'm going to be sharing these five questions and also to offer some ideas or suggestions or insights or how I've used my own life experience or professional experience to put that into um, self-help books or how the content you may choose to use on a a website, um, a blog, an article. So the first question is, you know, what's your why? Why do you want to write a book? Why do you want to change your website content? Why might you like to start to write a blog? Why do you want to write a a training course? Or why do you want to change the way your business has run or is going to run? So it it helps to get clear on on your why. Um, some suggestions or ideas may be um, to raise your professional profile. So writing a book, you know, in my experience, it does raise your profile um, in the in the area that you're working in. What you write, the content that you have to share, it may be content that you've learned. Certainly, if you're sharing someone else's processes or protocols, methods, etc., you may need to get permissions. If you're sharing someone else's intellectual property, you, you'd actually need to get permission to share that or certainly point your readers in the direction of where they can find that information. But more importantly is what's your why? Because what you've but what you've been through what you thought you'd never overcome and you've actually been through and lived through, not just the, the, the poop storms, but also the, the joyous and the happy things, 
what have you been through that may help someone else to heal or overcome a personal challenge or it may help them to get you know that classic coaching term which it may help others to get them to where they want to be so one of the reasons I'm sharing this is I, I want to you know my, my ethos is based on hope so h-o-p-e is helping other people evolve there's nothing I love better than to for, for people to actually use their gifts and talents and the content you all have is valuable whether it's um whether you write a book to earn residual income, whether or not you, you're writing a book to showcase your expertise in a certain area, whether it's to share information, so it could be literally a three-page PDF or a small booklet or a small guidebook or even quotes and tips, is how can you use your words to create an awareness of your services, who you are, what you have to share, so again, to be really clear on that question, what's your why? It's great to have some idea of why you want to write. Some people want to um, have, as I say, a residual income. So certainly when you self-publish, then um, the when you self-publish, that becomes your asset or your own intellectual property. And you can do whatever you want to with that book. It can be turned into a blog. Or sometimes you you can work back to front. Your blog can be turned into a book. If you've been blogging for a long time, you've probably even got content now. I know some of you listening already have a blog. You're already writing great content. And you also already have what I call your tribe or your reader or your group. Some of you I know are active on Facebook and you already have, you know, your people, your people, your friends, your family, your colleagues following you. So if you do have um, a book inside or you're exploring how to share your voice and your message, then think about who you're already connected with. So if I use, you know, Ray as an example, um, Ray, you know, you're the Radiant Angel um, Energy Healing and the services you offer. We've got people here who are listening in who offer the services of Future Life Progression, which was um, was founded um, by Anne Jersh. And various different people working in past lives or with different kinds of healing. So it's to think about, you know, what's your what's your why? Is it is it to share further healing, further awareness? Is it to take people beyond the um, challenges that they might be going through in the moment? So question two is who is your ideal reader? So as I said, I'm going through this relatively quickly. If anyone has any questions as I'm going through, please type away in those questions. You know, um, Ray's going to monitor them. I'm new on B Live, so if I if I miss something, then you know, please just type away. You won't be interrupting. It's great to have to have the um, conversation opening up, so I can answer personal questions. But question two here again is to check in with who is your ideal reader. So we'd actually call that an avatar. So, you know, who is it that you're currently helping? Or who is it you want to help in the future? Or what have you been through that you've overcome that's going to make a massive difference to the people that you want to serve? Now, these are just ideas. It could be that the content you want to share or the services you want to share, it could be just for men. It could be just for women a certain age it could be teenagers it could be children it could be um, a religious group or specific groups of people who have a certain interest it could be um say you're going through a divorce it could be the information that you have to share is you know key it's pivotal for helping people who are going through divorce or relationship breakup it may be that you've overcome a health issue and your your avatar is someone let's say i don't know that's having thyroid issues or heart problems or could be anything it could be you know if you think about your own physical ailments it could be you you've overcome something or you've tried some natural remedies or you you're using a certain physical exercises or you're going out in nature and walking to help with mental health or emotional health is to actually think about you know who are you going to serve and it could be that um, in terms of your career, so the career you're in, or certainly, you know, my career, I have a background of 20 years as a therapist working in the well-being industry. And um, 
you know, some of the people that I'm serving are people who are in the same profession as myself. They're either, you know, newbie coaches just starting out. They could be seasoned therapists who have had many years of experience. And they've got so many great subjects that they could write about. So it gets a bit exciting. Like, what do I actually start writing first? So this is where you could even think about writing a book series. But it's important, you know, who is your ideal reader? Now, it could be that the, the people who pick up your book or read your blog or go to your website, they might just they might not be a certain person of a certain age with one specific problem. But guaranteed you can write your book better when you've literally imagined that you have somebody sitting in the chair in front of you. So this is again where you think about the, the kinds of people that are asking you for advice. What is it they're asking advice on and how can you help them? So I always say to people when they're stuck on what to write or how to write it, this is how you find your voice. What are you educating people on? What information are you sharing? What are people coming to you to help have a, a solution to, the, to their problem? You know, what are you assisting them with? So, again, this could be you're helping people professionally. It could be in their career. It could be helping them to achieve personal goals. So what's their motivation moving forward? What's the outcome they want? Or, indeed, it could be you're helping people to get past the past. So it may be that your, your book or your avatar or your group, we need to remember, you know, what's their pain? So how can you help them deal with your pain, with their pain? Where are you? Where are you at, or where are they at right now? And actually, what content can you offer them that's future based that gives them a directive to work towards? So again, having your ideal reader in mind is fantastic, especially when it comes to marketing your book. You know, if we're thinking about hashtags or SEO, I'm still learning about the what I yeah. call the tech side of writing. But we need to really get clear because we can. And I say this through absolute learning, you know, um, over 20 years, it's like I've wanted to help absolutely everyone. And in a way, it's impossible to help everyone. You, you may want to help everyone because you're heart based. You don't want to not include anyone. But if I'm being very specific about writing a book or having having a, a website that supports your book or one kind of we, we might use the word niche but one niche area or one service it does help you to get clear on your message and who you're serving if you have that avatar in mind so again you know feel free to ask any questions um type in where you're at on your writing journey if you want to and i'll do my best in the time that we have to address anything that you might have a personal question around now, the third question here we may have already touched on a little bit. What is your reader's specific needs? How will your book benefit them? What is it they want? What is it they need? Thank you, Sita. I'm seeing this. You know, thank goodness I have my glasses and I won't be able to see that. But um, thank you so much for letting me know that what I'm sharing is valuable to you. And, you know, because I learn, I learn from the people I'm supporting with. Sometimes I think I'm covering questions that may be of benefit. Some people may already know these things they've started. But actually, um, you know, what are your readers' specific needs and challenges? What's their pain? Well, what's that? What's their pleasure? What do they want more of that you can help them with? So, certainly in terms of um, writing in the self-help genre. So, I, you know, my own example is my first book, "Find You, Find Love," is based on improving the relationship you have with yourself, and therefore helping you improve the relationships you have with others. You know, the internal communication, the outer communication. So for me, when I was writing my first book, I thought, you know, what, what is my reader going through that I've been through that may be similar to them that I can help them with? So relationships was something, you know, kind of in and out of the whole relationship cycle. And I thought, yeah, I, I can help readers with this pain because I've been in pain understanding why my relationships weren't working or even from, you know, back back with my family, life changing as a teen and family relationships changing and not really being clear about my life or family. And then taking all of that 
all of the, you know, my experience into other relationships, trying to resolve it and then going on and having some therapy myself, counselling and coaching over the years, it was able to, to help me put together a really high quality content book where I had permission to share other people's processes. So in my first book, I shared the techniques of emotional freedom technique. I've also shared future life progression. I've shared other modalities, you know, coaching modalities, some NLP techniques are in there. And by the way, um, I want to remember to say this on my website, which is wendyfry.com. There are some free resources that are in there for you just to go in freely. You don't, there's no sign up thing. You can just go onto my website, go under the book um, that says find you, find love. There's a drop down menu there and there are some um, resources there. So please use those resources either just to see how you can pull your book book into free resources or actually if you're going through any relationship difficulties externally or the relationship you have with yourself and finding your voice or writing then please go in and use those free resources so again what you know what going back to the question what are your reader specific needs and challenges so this is actually how can your book or your blog or your guide or your course what specific issues are they going through that they want to overcome? Or what issues have they overcome? And with your direction, you can help them step up. So this is all about stepping up and helping them to raise their game. When you when you write, it doesn't just stop at the first book. You know, this is thinking about what are your reader specific challenges long term and how can whatever you create, whether it's a blog that can be turned into a book, whether it's a book that can be turned into a training course, whether it's a training course that can be turned into like a, a VIP day or a writing retreat or a, a, a week away somewhere, you know, having all of these wonderful tools you have to share. What are their specific needs and challenges? So this is where you can get clever and, and you know, I'll, I'll give credit here. You know, something on my learning journey along the way is to use the Google Keyword Planner tool. So I will just mention um, Richard McMunn here. Um, I've invested in, in my training, my own personal training over the years. And I have my own writing, coaching, and certainly marketing, um, uh, how to market and advertise a book. And I knew nothing about SEO. I didn't even know what it stood for. So it's uh, search engine optimization. When you use the Google Keyword Planner tool, let's say I'm going to use the the topic divorce here. If mm. you put in the if you put in the, that keyword, and you know Ray, I know you're really hot on all of this, and you get it. So Ray, Ray <laughs> might possibly be a good person to ask here. Is you literally I make caps like go your, along. <laughs> I love it. You put in, I mean, to me, this was so exciting. And I've got flashcards of hashtags and all kind of things going on. You know, I love to write. So I always make notes about these things. I've got a big book of stuff, you know, <laughs> stuff that I go to as well. So, you know, this is so exciting when you use and it's a, it's a free tool. There's all different kind of versions you can pay in for. But literally, when you're doing this Google search, the same way any one of us is typing in, I don't know, like what's the temperature today or any of the things we, we you know, we, we might be asking, you know, voice automaton, what is it you're searching on? And what is it that the people who you want to read your book or your blog or the people who you want to invest in your services, what are they actually searching on? Because something I've learned over the years is they're not necessarily searching on the tools or, you know, what you offer in terms of, let's say, coaching or EFT or future life progression or any of the other kind of techniques. People want to know how, how you know, need to swore there, but how, how to move on beyond their current crisis and the poop storm that's going on. And what is it they're searching on? So, you know, li literally, you know, back, backtrack in the last three months, maybe in the last year, what are the things you've searched on? What are you buying on your, on your, you know, whatever it is you're purchasing on the internet? Is it herbal remedies? What kind of book categories are you searching on? If it's clothes, you know, I have got purple on. I love purple. Maybe you're searching on something to do with color or essences or remedies or, you know, angels and all these lovely, beautiful things that we're all passionate about. So, you know, this, this is really getting clear and playing around with, you know, spending time please do spend time doing your research on what are your readers searching for 
because guaranteed they're not searching on something with respect, you know, that you've trained in. They want to know how your how your tool, how your technique is going to help them with a poop storm so that they can live life again joyously. So think about the actual benefits. What are the benefits that your readers are going to gain from working with you, from joining you on your on your one day challenge you know if you're if you're writing in the health arena or personal challenge that you've overcome use the words that are your pain point and actually use the words that are the pleasure point what are they going to gain what are they going to win what what are going to be the benefits what's going to be the transformation so think about using those words in um if we think about a, a book so you've got your back cover blurb you've got your amazon blurb or you know if you're advertising on some other book site we need to think about what is it people are going to read first what are they going to see well in those first you know four lines they're like I've got to have that book I need to sign up to this blog I've got to get this newsletter so you know I get excited I get excited about this stuff because it's taking me absolutely blimmin yonks to learn it all honestly I can't tell you the just you know some of the frustration but when you when you start to learn how to do something and you can share it it may it may not be the same for everyone you know anything anything any advice I'm giving you or any other trainings you might go on or free information so much free content out there but please please try it out so um, I'm going to go into, I get so enthusiastic about all this, don't want to run out of time. Good. That's, that's okay. <laughs> it's my show. We can go on as long as I like. I love this. I love this. And um, I'm, and and everyone who's um, watching and listening in, I, that this is the first time normally if I'm being interviewed, I'm being interviewed on my on my laptop. And this is the first time I'm using my phone for this. So I apologize if I'm going down in my seat. You can see up my nose or just no, above no, my head or something you, like you, this so it's all it's all good because I'm getting a bit carried, all all, carried away here with the enjoyment of sharing well the enjoyment that you're show, sharing says <laughs> Sarah Sita says the opportunities are endless things visions are coming to me as you're talking amazing Woo-hoo! I love so, it I love it so your enthusiasm is getting keep uh, going <laughs> I love it. I love it. And do you know what as well, you know, what I will say about these questions. So I'm just going to be dipping in and out the questions. And these are the first five on the blueprint. There's 50 questions on the blueprint. And I've spent a lot of time, um, possibly 18 months in all, adding to to this blueprint Q&A. And what some people have said is that by by just reading through and completing the Q&A without even having that 90 minute um, support session afterwards, exactly as Sita has said here, is that they have downloads from going through the questions or exactly I'm, I'm just asking the questions that are on the blueprint. I'm, a, I'm adding some um, information, some ideas on my own experience. But the, the beauty of the beauty of this or the way I work is, you know, it, it's good to be passionate about what you're passionate about. So do think about what what gifts you naturally have. It doesn't necessarily need to be something you're trained in. More often than not, it's a life experience or a life challenge that you've overcome. But you can be real and raw and share that with your readers and actually show them that you've lived you've lived through this transformation that you're offering so again I'm talking in terms of um, self-help um, genre writing which is the area that, that I niche in but it's also thinking again creatively how you might be able to put that into a fiction piece or sharing your memoir or even having you know there are some people that that prefer to actually um, a, a vlog um, Many people who who want to do the the video blogging, you know, more often than not, they've got notes or they've got content that they want to read off as they go along. So I do encourage everyone listening to actually write by hand. Yes, we can all type on a laptop or PC or phone. But actually, when you're using your your own physiological handwriting, that is actually part of discovering your author voice is letting the emotion be there as you write by hand. Often when people are writing their books, um, actually getting down to the nitty gritty of what they want to share, it can be an emotional experience. So uh, to add in here as well, 
when anyone is writing or considering vulnerability around sharing their writing, so again, whether that's a book, a blog, an article, training course, and that's going out to the general public where friends or family, colleagues may see and, and put their feedback in, whether that's wanted or not, is to actually be able to write through the emotions that almost every author has to overcome when they're writing and sharing their content. It can be a vulnerable process, but I'm just like, heck, you know, you've only got one life, so live it, tell your story, tell the tale, share what you've overcome. And more and more, the, the books that people are buying and investing in, you know, the, the author is sharing tools and techniques, but also whether it's an addendum or in the bio, they're also sharing into insights into their own life experience. So it's sort of moving into question four, exactly what I touched on. How will your book and your experience help your, uh, your reader overcome specific challenges? So when I, when I sort of offer this, when I, when I make the statement, what makes you an expert in the field, Again, it doesn't necessarily mean something you've trained in. You're an expert in your own life. You know, you, you, I can't, I'm, you know, getting the tingles here saying this. You are the expert. You're the expert. You've lived your life. I mean, that's massive. It's absolutely massive that you have got this far. So how will your experience and what you've lived through the highs and the lows and the information you have to share is what makes you the expert. Importantly is, you know, what, what's in it for your reader? What's in it for them? What did you learn along your journey that you can share with them? So it may be, again, in terms of writing a book, you may have exercises, you might have tips, you might have prompts. Some one of the ways I share my own author voice is I, I put little quotes in. Um, I share at the start of my books, you know, my my journey or my most recent book, Right from Your Heart. I discovered how dif uh, I've shared how it actually was difficult to learn the alphabet when I was a kid. I really struggled with it. It was hard. And, you know, going on later to share information around when I when I fell in love with writing as a teenager for the first time, you know, in my English lessons, being able to share about my family breaking up in an English in an English um, lesson. And for the homework, I wrote pages and pages of this stuff, you know, as an outlet. So what wisdom and encouragement can you offer your reader? I'm, I'm working with some people who are still going through a life transition, who are still on their own journey, who are still going through emotional change, physical change, mental change, and they are blimmin' well bold enough and brave enough to share their journey. And, you know, none of us are perfect. We can all have these trainings. None of us are perfect. I'm still learning. I learn every day. So how can you how can you share your wisdom? What what words of support and encouragement can you offer your tribe? Again, whether that's your readers, people on your newsletter, your clients that you're sharing with, and how can sharing your story and your author voice benefit them? Because guaranteed, when you speak up. That would encourage other people to speak up. It would encourage other people, whether that be to gain help and uh, your services, to, to invest in purchasing your book or even the free resources you might put you know, on your website that, that direct people to a blog or direct people to things they can print off or excerpts or you know, free guides. So, again, really think about your book and how your book will address the specific needs and challenges that those people who are who are searching, everyone's searching for something, whether it's to get away from pain or to have more pleasure, what can you offer them within the content of what you have to say? So again, this is about sharing your author voice, be, being being bold enough and brave enough to be you. And as I say, if emotions come up, and yeah, it does, um, CJ, I'm just reading this here, it gives you credibility. It shows that you're real and you can overcome and move forward. You don't have to be stuck in any situation. No, you don't. You let, you let your readers know, hey, you know what? I struggled with this. 
I've, I've read some fantastic books over the year where, years where the authors have, you know, amazing people. If we think in terms of, you know, anyone listening in who has a, a career, you know, I, I wasn't born a therapist. Or I wasn't born a coach. Blimmin' well, right, yeah, my life experience made me want to train to help other people so they perhaps didn't have to go through what I went through. Yes, my, my work is still a transition. We're all going through this transition. We're all reaching uh, the next stage in our life. And you never stop learning. You never stop growing. And, you know, share share what's important to you because, you um, when you share what's important to you and you find people who want to read what you have to say, then what you have to share is a gift, not only your gift to give, but also that person receiving the gift of your words of wisdom. And this is why we can't appeal to everybody all of the time. You know, what you have to share will matter to someone somewhere, probably several someones. So question five is around themes or concepts or solid ideas that will run through your book or your blog, your training course, your workshop, you know, whatever it is you want to create that uses the written word. So we all, we're all we all writers. You know, if you, you were actually to add up, um, you know, there are various different writing tools that will measure how many words you're writing. For me, I just record the words that I'm writing in Word document. It doesn't include email. It doesn't include text or if I'm making notes in my phone. But if we were all to actually measure the amount of words we have in our head, the amount of words we're texting or emailing, the amount of words, you know, we, we might be making notes around things or if you look in your project book or, you know, your box of things that you may be a work in progress, there are thousands and thousands of words that you've already created, that you've already talked about, things you worry about, things you dream about. These are all words. So the question five is what themes, methods, concepts and solid ideas will run throughout your book? So to give you an idea, so in my in my first book, um, I've used a process called the Spotlight Process, and how I came around at that program that that process was to actually think about what what am I doing in my coaching sessions. So in my coaching sessions, or any therapeutic sessions that I've offered over the years, I'm really finding out about my my clients' past. You know, the people who who are wanting to work with me. You know, what is it you've been through? What what brings you here? And where are you now? You know, where, where, are you, where are you now in relation to where you want to be? And when we think about the future, what is it you, you want to achieve? So the spotlight process really in terms of anyone I've worked with, we need to examine this stream of thoughts. You know, where, where are they shining their lights? I used to say this in, in my support sessions, you know, where, where is your focus? So if we think about, you know, I just have a biro here, I don't have a torch to, to hand. Literally in my sessions, we'd have a torch. Um, I would be saying to people, you know, well, when you're thinking about your past, where's the direction? Where's the location in space? So for me, you know, my past is behind me, but anyone watching or listening in is where, where is the past? So where are you shining your light? And when you shine your light in the past, how much of your future is showing up? So, again, this is where you're, you're thinking about what is it you're doing in sessions that you can put into a book or a blog or your, your toolkit, you know, the services that you're offering people. What solid things and ideas can you run through? So, guaranteed, each one of you will already have a process that you're already using, but you probably don't know you're using it or you, you haven't given it a, a title so we have the you know these wonderful trainings that we've all learnt, and you know I've been blessed with, with Anne Jersh, she who's given me permission to share future life progression as a process you know a, a concept a tool within my books it may be that you've trained in a specific modality and you want to share that because it's helped you in your journey this is, again, where you think about um, actually gaining the permission if you're using a technique that someone else has written and it belongs to them. You'll probably find that most people have created something else and who you've trained with do actually want to support you. So it's about being bold. It's actually asking, you know, 
I learned this technique with you and I love it. I want to share it in what, what I want to say. And is it okay if I use this? So, you know, I've been blessed with people writing forwards, writing testimonials, um, amazing people that I've trained with. So even if you think you don't have a theme or a method or a concept or a solid idea that you've created yourself, this is why it's sometimes helpful to work with a coach so that you can find out well, what is it you're doing that you just need to have it put in a succinct title so that it's some kind of process or actually, if you're passionate about sharing someone else's techniques, how can you work together so that you are gaining their support? You know, what is it you can share? So, for example, in my books, anyone that um, any training courses that I'm um, that I've been on and that person is helping me in some way with my book, then guaranteed in the useful resources section at the back of my book, I'm actually sharing the people who have helped me. This is their website. So this is where you give you give back. If you're helped, you do the right thing and you reference that, you reference where the information has come from, and you thank back by putting that in the useful resources section um, at the end of your book. So, again, you know, these are just um, five questions. I can't believe, you know, how the time is going so quickly here. If anyone, I'm going to take a sip of my drink. So if anyone has any questions here, um, please do type up and jump on. Let me know if there's anything mm. I've shared you want more detail about or anything else you want to ask me. Yeah, and whilst um, we're waiting to see if any of those uh, those questions come in, if anyone wants to uh, not be shy and put put them in um, live, um, why don't we um, do? I'll ask you, Wendy. Um, normally, what I do on my show is I ask my guests whether they would like a mini guide meditation, on angel card reading, or oracle card reading for you and the people watching so wendy what would you like would you like me to do a mini guide meditation or would you like me to pull an oracle angel card i would love an oracle angel card thank you that's okay that's what everyone says and that's what i love so <laughs> um, we have the cards here <laughs> and that's i just cleanse and bless them And of course, um, when I do the cards, I do the cards for what you need to know in your present. I don't predict the future with the cards, which seems contradictory because obviously um, I do past life regression, so I work in the past, but it's, it's clearing the past so you can be present. When I work with the future, it's so you can see your future, so you're not worried, so you work in the present. So everything is for what you need to know. So what does Wendy and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Wendy and everyone who's watching this need to know? Okay. So, um, which is which is quite apt for what we've been talking about. Cleansing waters, purification activates a vibrant life force. Ooh, I've gone all tingly and hot. That's good. That Thank is... you. Oh, my earbuds. My earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement, where's it gone? <laughs> exactly. And, you know, there's not a lot of explanation that really is um, um, needed um, with, with this. And obviously what you were talking about earlier, Wendy, is um, with regards to where we've been um, is in the sabbatical um, situation. Yeah. I think that's a much nicer word than lockdown. Yeah. I like sabbatical. Um, is that you've you've been thinking about, you know, how can you move forward? What can you now let go of to actually allow you to blossom and progress um in in the in the future? So this is really as much verification that you're you're doing you're doing the right thing. And obviously those of you who are watching as well, you know, if you've been using the sabbatical to think about what you can get rid of, what you can cleanse, take out of your life, what no longer serves you so that you can move forward in this new reality that we're living in. I love that, Ray. When I, I heard you, um, uh, I think you were shuff shuffling the, the cards or pulling a card, um, the, the key word that I had coming in was trust. And I think this is around trusting uh, wherever any one of us is at, even if it's changed from what we've known 
and the future is unknown is to actually trust like where you are and this process of of letting go you know Ray, Ray and I were talking before the show around adapting you know I called it a writing writing retreat that we've perhaps been through and how can you best use your time you know wherever you're at right now what can you do what can you start with what do you know so you know, so important so important to have to make make the most of the, the challenge because often within the challenge there is a gift even if we can't see it or we don't know what the future holds is what exactly what you said to be in the now to let let what needs to go go in order to let that that future come so i, I love that card ray thank yeah. you and um you're welcome. Yeah, and see, and yeah. Cita also says, absolutely love this. My life is like two mirrors, a frosted one where my purpose was not clear. And now I have a clear image of a crystal clear image to so just come to me. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Sita. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. That's, that's, that's absolutely um, wonderful. So I don't think anyone's got any more questions at the moment. So, so Wendy, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave those who are watching the show? Yeah, to to recognise that you already are an author, to recognise that your your life experience, you know, you've you've lived to tell the tale of your life. Some of it may not be shared as yet. The, the experiences that you've been through, um, you use them, use them to your best advantage. Write that blog, write that book, write the course, write the manual. Um, allow yourself to be free with expression. You know, journal, journaling is a beautiful way to, to start writing from your heart and, and let your words flow because your words, your, your words won't fail you. So, just trust in yourself and and write from your heart because you have something very valuable to share. That's wonderful. So, so would you say you know if people were, were, were journaling, it would just be you know at the end of the day, just write down your thoughts and feelings of the day, how your day went, just anything. Oh yeah, you know, there's there's so many different ways of journaling. One of the things I do at the end of the day, I've been doing this for years. I keep a gratitude journal, so I, I keep it in a diary form, so every day is dated, and I just write down the things that I'm grateful for in the day. Often I see themes with, with journaling, and um, if anyone's interested, my third book is called Write from Your Heart: Discover Your Author Voice Through Journaling. And there are so many different methods, all included in the book, where you can journal there's also on my website you can actually um, download it's called 365 days of journaling prompts so there's actually a prompt there for every day if you get stuck or you want ideas that's completely free to download so on my website um, you'll see the book right from your heart and in the drop down menu below it says free gift anyone can um, download that and um Really, as well, you know, if you find you're going through a challenge, there again within the book, there are statistics to show you and um, to share the emotional, mental, and physical health benefits of journaling. This isn't just about writing or writing a book, it's actually how you can use writing to survive and thrive in in life so um one of the ways might be a mind dump or you know if you're going through a poop storm is to have that mind dump and get it all out before you go to bed and then actually maybe just think about if it's only one thing where you can focus on you know what went well today is to go to sleep writing down that one thing and holding that in your soul of you know the, the gift in the day there's um, all kinds of, as I say, all different kinds of journaling. One way of journaling, which I love, I'm a keen walker. I'm in nature uh, every day. I'm walking and I take up photo photographs and I will often write a journal piece based on nature, what I'm seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting and sensing when I'm in nature. So, as I say, there's 365 journaling prompts. People can just go and download that. It's off my website, wendyfry.com. And just have a look um, in the book and just pick out different different topics because <laughs> there's, there's so much to write about. 
<laughs> Excellent. Um, so we're actually getting on to the point now um, where um, I was going to say, if, uh, Wendy, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Obviously, we've got the uh, um, we've got the website. Is there any other way that they can contact you? Yeah, sure. So on my website, my, my email is clearly on there. So you're welcome to email me uh, my Facebook um, link here um, within the, the Radiant Angel Energy. You can contact me on my Facebook page. And, um, you know, also as well within um, within my third book, Right From Your Heart as well, there are uh, different offers within the book if people want to contact me in terms of hypnosis for authors, um, then there's um, the opportunity to, click, to connect with me to have a hypnosis session if anyone is interested in that as well. So, yeah, they're the main sites, wendyfry.com, my Facebook page. People can have a look on Amazon. So my three books are on Amazon. You can just go into that free look inside you know have a peek in there have a look also as well you know this is where you can glean information you can see um how our, our book synopsis is put together you can have a look at the front and the back page you can have a look at that look inside option as well so my amazon page there amazon.com and amazon.co.uk have a look there see what you see what you like see how things are set out and use any information um the way i've written my 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 website or my books may not be the way you want to write your website certainly if you want to follow on facebook then you can have a you can gain insights just by watching what myself or other authors are doing and um, contacting them or also reading their books you know and and josh has just brought out mm -hmm. future vision your working life you know that's a that's a fabulous fabulous book a really good book. um yeah. So again, just want to want to, you know, Anne's been massive, um, massive support to me. And um, yeah, so people can contact me. I'll always do my best to answer in the shortest time frames. And um, if people want me to have a look at their work or what they're doing, then for sure, you know, we can arrange a consultation and, and I, I'll be happy to to view your work and uh, arrange um, a time to speak. So, yeah, just reach out. Let me know what you need and then I'll get back to you. So thank you all for listening in. Excited Bye. about your book and what you're going to be producing yes yes i'm i'm going to be really looking out for the cetus book there for cetus book there yeah um, de de uh, definitely on 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 that one and what i'll do is i'll put um, all the links in the comments anyway so people can just click right. on them um with without going to them so i hope everyone that you've enjoyed this and found the words um and found it insightful and the words of wisdom Wendy has given you will help you further on your journey and to write your book. You know, even I was getting a few ideas coming into my head whilst I was uh, watching this. Um, and that's, uh, so that'll be pretty good. And of course, if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video session um, via Messenger where we can um, find out more about each other and how I can help you on your journey. And of course, with the sabbatical sort of like releasing now, if you're looking for the chance of getting away um, and learn more about yourself, your past and your future and your present, then I'll be running a four day retreat down in Glasgow in October. So please feel free to check that out and register your interest. And of course, you could always join my Angel Wings membership community where you get a chance to um, grow with Ascended Masters, Archangels, Goddesses, Oracle Cards, to spread your wings and soar by and soar and um, being by part of a community and learning from, from each other. And of course, if you want to be a guest on my show, I'm looking, you know, from August time, I'm looking for new guests. So please do contact me if you want to impart your wisdom and share your knowledge um, with, with everyone here. Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching and I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who want to get clear on their destiny just like you and I look forward to you joining me next week um, where my guest will be Jenny Jones so again thank you Wendy so much for um, for being here on the show thank you Sita um, for commenting thank you to everyone who's watching of course any comments you or questions you leave Wendy and I will go back so if you're watching this on the replay we will answer any questions you know we we do um, look back and do check out Wendy's uh, um, website because you've got all these free resources on there which is absolutely yeah, amazing yeah. so it's brilliant Thank you're you. giving that stuff away Wendy. yeah that's, yeah, that, yeah that's absolutely brilliant 
So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye.